All right, guys, I am back. Welcome to my vlog. I am Jules Jacobson. If you are new here, um, hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a fun video. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair, just like my everyday hair. And recently, I had cut bangs, not by myself, but I got um, went to the hairstyle here in Philly. Um, I can link her name who actually cut my hair and cut my bangs and I was like I just want to go for something new and I brought up Pinterest and I was like this is what I'm looking for this is what I want and I was really nervous to get bangs because they're pretty short um, and I just wanted to go for something different I love change I'm kind of like addicted to change especially when it comes to like my hair um, I've had short hair for a while and I've just been like loving it here I mean I can put up some photos of kind of my hair before bangs and then some with after and this is how I'm going to be styling it today. So it's just like what I do when I get out of the shower and I blow dry my hair and I style my bangs. So I have naturally a lot of hair, but it's not very thick. So I have fine hair, but a lot of it. So do your happy medium, whatever you feel. I don't think I would have gotten bangs if my hair was any thinner than this, um, because I feel like I'm on the cusp of like, it's if it was any thinner, I think the bangs would look a little bit, just not as good. Um, so you kind of have to work with what you have. And I tried this and I don't think I'll have them forever. Um, Queen of bangs is Matilda, as you guys probably know and see. She was a huge inspo on my hair as well. And she's so good at them. And she just has like super bouncy thick hair and naturally curly, I think. Um, my hair is naturally wavy, more on the straight side. So I just was like, let's go for it. Let's do it. So that's what I did. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. The hair is damp and I brushed it through. And the first thing I'm gonna be using is some wave spray. So the first product is the Gazo Wild Wave Me Rave Me Infused Texturizing Wave Spray. So I use this, sometimes I use the Whey hairspray as well. Um, this is just infused texturizing wave spray. So I usually take it and I'll go all over my hair. I already sprayed a little bit in before this video started, so I'm only gonna do a little bit, but I usually am so generous with it. It says to be really generous with it. And I'll just brush it through, and then I kind of also like to just scrunch it up so it has the waves before I blow dry it. Also, I am not wearing any makeup right now, so this is all before I even do my makeup. I like to do my hair first, otherwise I feel like I put makeup on and then I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks weird without having your hair done. So what I like to do is really just wait until my hair is like 70% dry. I like to air dry it um, pretty much all the way, and then I will go ahead with, a, with my blow dryer and a round brush. Um, first, I'll just blow it dry till it's like 95% dry, and then I'll use the round brush to get the wave in it and then after I'll use a straightener and I'll show you how to do as well. Um, I always leave my bangs to last. I'll still blow them dry but you can kind of see they style themselves um, as they are a little bit wavy already and this is not even still damp so you can see that they kind of have like that wave already in them that's natural. I think it's kind of natural based on just like the style of the cut so while I'm doing this, I just want to let you guys know that this is not a pretty process. Like halfway through when I do my hair, I'm like, oh my God, this is just super weird and it looks terrible and it really doesn't come together until like the very end. So bear with me. I think it's kind of just like how you figure out your hair when you're younger, like what works for it, what doesn't and blow drying. Like I cannot air dry my hair. I have to blow dry it for the volume. Um, so I just kind of figured out like what works for my hair and you know, stuck with it. Oh my God, this just came out of my hair dryer. All right, so my hair is pretty much, um, I would say it's like 60% dry, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start blowing it dry. And it's really loud, so there will be music to go over this. Okay, so now I'm a lion. Um, this is basically, I would say it's like 85, 90% dry. And this is it guys, like I can't go out of the house like this. It's just very, you know, big. So you don't realize how much hair you have until after you blow dry and then you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. So anyway, it's about 
that much dry what i'm gonna do now is take my clip so i just go with a claw clip like this i get these at walmart target cvs anything they're like super affordable and they just they get the job done and i'm gonna clip up half of my hair and then round brush the rest of it on the bottom and then i'll do usually two layers and then my bangs So this looks crazy, but this is how I do it. I told you guys, trust the process because it is not pretty while we do it, but we'll get there. And I go ahead and just brush out the knots. My hair is known to be super knotty. Um, even when it's short, when it's long, it's a disaster, which is a reason that I cut it because it was just so knotty all the time and it was just horrible to take care of. It's still knotty when it's short, like, and I have really sensitive hair. I used to like scream when my mom would do my hair for gymnastics meets when I was younger. And yeah, so just really knotty. All right, another product that I actually should have used a little bit earlier, but it is the Gazo um, heat protecting spray. So it looks like this and I use this usually just before I blow dry or do any, um, straightener on my hair so i'm just gonna like lightly spray because i don't want it to fully like wet my hair again i truly like the gazo products a lot um that the brands that i use mostly for my hair are that gazo um living proof which i have a few products after it's dry and then away now i split it down the back like this just easier for me to handle and i'll start from the back and round brush it so what i do so what I do is take a round brush. I have another one that has more of like the light bristles. This is more like soft brush. Um, I switch it up, doesn't really matter to me. Um, and I'll take part of my hair, put it in my mouth so that I don't have to. And what I'm gonna do is it's round brush it like this and blow dry it down. And I'll blow dry it down so that the pieces here go underneath and it forms like um, the inner, just like, you know, rounded underneath so that it gives you like that wave um with some other pieces i'll take just so it's a little different and i'll brush it out like this and i'll blow dry it this way but i'll show you okay so you can't really see from here but the piece is back here and it is just straight with a little bit of a round edge and then i'll just kind of continue that process throughout um and some pieces which i'll show you now and i do have like little clips for this but it's just easier to put it in my in my mouth um so i'll take you know a piece like this and i usually do it with like a piece pretty big um just for me i'm pretty lazy and i don't want to be here for three hours which is how long it would take brush it through and make sure the hair is on the middle of the brush roll it back and just blow it dry. So now you can kind of see the pieces, how they form underneath. And at the end, I'll take a straightener and kind of make them a little bit more wavy. Okay, so I finished the bottom. I might go over like the back pieces a little bit because it was really hard for me to get to them, but you can see it's just kind of like goes in a little bit wavy and a little bit texturized. So there's nothing really that much to it. And my hair does come to about like a little above my collarbone. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the top down and the top part. So this piece I'm taking and I'm going the other way around so it's going to be outward facing and I just like to switch it up with a few pieces that way. Okay, so the blow drying of the back is pretty much done and I'm going to go ahead and use these little clips that I got from Amazon to clip this back so that I can do my bangs which is basically the whole point of this video. As you guys know, I'm not like a hairstylist or even close. I am actually pretty terrible at hair. So um, I feel sometimes like showing you what I do is not always what's gonna work for you, but um, here it is. Okay, so I have a smaller round brush and I got this from Ulta. It's about like, um, I wanna say two inches, maybe less. I don't know why it doesn't say on here. I forget what I got, um, but it's pretty 
thin and I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my bangs forward and then back and you'll see how it does a little loop-de-loop -loop. and then I'll take my straightener after and kind of finish like polishing them. So I just do it like three a little time because I don't want it to be too hot like a straightener where it just stays that way. And then I take it and I go the other way down a little bit because I could use a bit of a smaller brush, I think. And then I go back. And they fall just like that. And I kind of just play around with them and I'll use some oil and show you guys the finished product. Okay, so this is without any extra product and without using my straightener yet, my straightener yet. So you see how the bangs kind of just go this way and they have a little bit of volume up here and they do like this little poof thing that I like that I'm trying to get and the rest of my hair is just kind of like, I don't even know the word for it. Um, it kind of is wavy but it goes in all like different directions and that's just how I like it. So what I'm going to take next, this living proof full it's living proof full dry volume blast. So it's basically just like texturizing spray with extra volume in it. And I got a mini size. I just bought this so that I could see if I actually like it. And I just like lift pieces and spray. Same with this side, I'll lift like half. Kind of the same way that you would do dry shampoo. It just gives it texture. And then I'll even do like a little bit in front of my bangs. More texture, more bounce and more waves. So what I'm gonna do now is take my straightener and I forget what the brand of this, it's Zo something, but I have the same um, straightener, ha hair dryer, and a bunch of the brushes are from the same brand. So as you guys may have seen in my last video of my hair before I had bangs, like what I like to do is take it, um, do a little bend, and that's kind of how I get the wave. So I'll kind of start at the top and I'll start bending below like my eyebrow, eye eyebrow line and I'll come backwards this way, and then I'll just go under. That one didn't really work. Oh, it's off, my straightener's off. We'll be back soon. Okay, we're back. So like I said, straight down, bend underneath, right about the below the eyebrow line, and then a quick bend back to kind of finish the piece, and you'll see it has like that little bend in it and it gives it like a little bouncy wave. So I just do that with a few pieces throughout my hair until I like the way that it looks. Something about this that I like is I like having pieces that go in, I like having pieces that go out. I think it just gives it um, a little bit of like a more natural wave look and I just like pick random pieces to go in and random pieces to go out. And I'm very like flexible with it and I'm not being like uptight about what pieces are going where. Okay, so take my bangs and to get a little, okay, my camera died so I plugged it in and did a little makeup so that I could finish this video with makeup on. Um, so like I was saying, I take my bangs and I put it in the direction they're already going. So that little loop right there, and I'm gonna take my straightener and just do like a few little these kind of things so that it kind of gives it more of that like swoop. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side like reach over here and then on the top I'll also just take it and make sure that I am getting do a little flip like that so that you get the little loop I don't know what to call this guys I'm not great at hair but this is just how I do mine so okay so the last thing that I do is take this living proof instant defrizzer this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, I never can do this right, but this is what it looks like. I can put a picture of it up here if you can't see it. Um, and I just kind of spray it on top of my hair. Play with your hair with your hands and it gets rid of any of the frizz. Actually it works pretty well. My hair isn't like super frizzy right now, but it does work. And I, cause I'm constantly like zhuzhing up my hair and making it like more volumey and playing with my bangs. I'm just like always playing with my hair. So this is an also, also a good product and I got it in a little baby travel size bottle so that I could just kind of test it out. But 
that is it. If my hair is extra dry, sometimes I will take the Gazo honey infused hair oil and I'll put this in my hair. Sometimes I don't like it because my hair is naturally oily. So if I do too much of it, then it just like becomes a greasy hair look, which I hate. So this is a great product though, especially if you have really dry hair. Okay, so that is it. This is my hair for the day. Um, I might go back and even like wave a few more of the bottom pieces, um, but these are the bangs and they just sit pretty naturally and they go this way with a little bit of a swoop. Sometimes I'm like, I want more so that they are fuller, um, but I like how they are right now. And honestly, I'm probably not gonna have bangs forever because I am not one to like keep up with my hair. I'm just very lazy with it, but I wanted to share with you guys this video and I hope that it was fun and enjoyable. If you have any tips for me or anything you want me to know about your hair or anything, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, see all my videos and so I can produce some more videos for you guys because I love my YouTube fam and I love coming on here and sharing with you guys all the videos that I can think of. So that is it and this is the look and I hope that was helpful. Um, bangs are super in right now and i'm a huge fan so this is kind of just this is what i'm going to be doing for a while so i will see you guys in the next video Bye.